Hi YouTube, it's Alicia English. Today I'm on my way to the city. I wanted to pick up some materials at Home Depot today to work on my next project. I've been having a lot of people ask me what I use for my craft shows and I have some big ones coming up this year, which gives me the opportunity to create a more elaborate setup. I wanted to make some shiplap walls to use as the background to hang up some of my signs. So I'm on my way and I thought I would take you along for the ride. Okay, so now that I've carefully selected all of my wood and my paint, I'm going to pay and then get it all loaded into the truck. So this year, because I'm going to be in some bigger craft shows, I'm going to be given a 10 by 10 spot to kind of make a little pop-up shop at each of my shows. So this provides me a chance to kind of make a more of an elaborate setup. So I want to build four, four foot by six foot rolling um, shiplap wall backgrounds that I can put in my booths. So I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a diagram to kind of show what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to start building the construction today. So my two end pieces are going to be my two by fours. Those are going to be six feet tall and then with the scrap ends that come off of the eight foot piece i'm going to create essentially two bottom bases with a 45 degree angle support at the back i might want to create some kind of a box in the front so i'm going to leave that for now and then all of my shiplap slats are going to be connected all the way down to approximately five feet I'm probably going to put some casters on the bottom so I can wheel it in and out of events and then a handle on the back on either side so that it's easier to support while I'm carrying it in and out of the events. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. So I'm going to start doing the cutting for what I need for my wood right now. So I've cleared out as much room as I possibly can in the art room and took out my great big counter so I can build this project because I want to build four of them. I'm going to need a bit of space. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take eight of my two by fours and I'm going to cut them to six feet. And those are going to be my end, uh, end posts on them. So because I'm going to make four of them, if you're going to just make one, you just need to cut two. So I was just about to use the two foot pieces that I cut off of my eight foot uh, two by four boards. And then I realized that before I make those marks to put my tall end post on that if I do want to decide to put some kind of a box in front where people can flip through signs or lean signs on that this was the time I was going to have to do it. So I've actually decided I have eight crates left from my Christmas crate project that I worked on previously and so I thought I might as well utilize those instead of spending more money on wood to make the boxes in the front. So I'm going to actually put these on the front of where my display is going to be, my posts are going to be here, and then I can have people flip through signs. So I'm going to measure a little bit differently than I originally thought. These are actually 12 and a half back, so I'm going to leave room for the crate as well as the ship lap slat, and then my post is going to stand behind. So I'm going to make my marks based on my measurements for that now. So based on my crate width, my ship lap, and where I want my post to go, I'm going to measure all of these two foot pieces to 13 and a half inches. Okay, so following my mark, I'm going to line it up with my six foot post and I'm going to line it up with the line that I did. I'm going to do two pilot holes here. I'm making sure that I put the wood glue on before screwing it together because I'm going to be moving these in and out of the trailer and using them often. I just want to add some extra durability to the whole space. So now I'm going to use my line that I did and carefully line up my pilot holes as best as I can again. I didn't want to get the wood glue all over my bit. So I'm going to line this up as best as possible. And then put the screws in. I'm going to do the same thing that I just did on all eight of my end posts. So now I want to make my 45 degree support that I'm going to be putting on the shorter side because my crate's going to be in the front. So the shorter side is what I'm going to use as my support system at the back. So because I didn't have any short chunky pieces of two by four to just use a scrap piece of wood to kind of see how long did I want. And I think that 
This is a pretty good sample. So I'm going to cut the same thing with my two by four. So I determined that the long side of my support is going to be 14 inches. So I measured out 14 inches and I've made a mark. So I'm going to have two 45. So I'm gonna have a 45 that runs this way and a 45 that runs this way. And I'm just gonna follow the tip of my wood and the mark that I made. So now I'm just gonna use this kind of as a stencil because I wanna create seven more. So now I'm gonna actually put my supports in and I've laid them down. So I'm gonna just actually butt them up right into place and I'm going to do my pilot holes and then I'm going to wood glue before I put my screws in. Now I'm going to do this seven more times. So now I'm going to cut all of my eight foot long, three inch wide slats to four feet long. So now that all my posts are made and they're at six foot height, I'm going to add my four foot long slats going across. I'm going to apply wood glue and then I'm gonna use my brad nailer to nail them on. And I'm gonna make sure that my top's nice and level by leveling it off and then everything else should line up after that. So now all four of my panels are put together and I'm going to sand them and paint them white. I'm really happy with how they turned out. So I'm going to try to do some of it with a roller just to kind of prime over and then I'll have to do the rest with a paintbrush. So after about eight hours of building, a trip to Home Depot and a lot of paint all over myself and about $200 worth of materials, I was able to create four four foot wide by six foot tall shiplap walls. And I'm really excited to see what they're gonna look like at my next craft show event. I'll be able to configure these in any way I want depending on the space that I'm given at each show and have a lot of extra storage space behind and along the bottom of all of them so people can flip through and kind of look and see what other inventory I have. So this was a really time consuming project but it definitely was worth it. So I'm really happy that I did it. I'll definitely make sure to do a video vlog on how my next craft show goes with the new setup. I'm excited to see how it's going to look and I can't wait to share it with you. I reply to all the comments that I have on my channel so if you have questions or suggestions for a future video please leave them in the comment section down below because I message everyone back. Please subscribe, hit like, and I'll see you guys on the next project.